What's going on guys? It's Mari here and welcome back to the vlog. In today's vlog, we're gonna be doing some static shit. So for everybody that's like running camber or like just running low at all to the point that you're rubbing cause you're not on like BCs or Swiss springs or anything like that. I got a solution for you guys. If you wanna stop the rubbing, feel me? If you wanna go stupid low and not worry about, oh shit, am I gonna rub then? you're watching the right video. For this method, instead of buying like $350 springs, you could easily just go to Home Depot and you're gonna end up spending like around $30 to $50. So basically what's happening is that my tire is rubbing right underneath here. It's not nothing huge, but I wanna get it addressed. Don't make fun of my bacon fenders, but I gotta address it. You go to Home Depot, you're picking up these flat washers, which looks like this. And basically, what you want to do is just put them over like this you want to get some big ones says a or b whatever you want to get some big ones and then you put it at the bottom just for like the base then you put these all the way up so i'm gonna put some more then i'm gonna put the bushing and then the final washer so let's do that i'm gonna slap them on and i'm gonna let you know how it rides and if i recommend you guys doing it for your car or not so stay tuned with me doing this there's not going to be a lot of play in the shock absorber itself so it's just going to push the car right back up type thing so you're going to have a pretty stiff ride my spring rates aren't stiff enough so this is the method so let's grab the wheels and slap them on the car and for those of you guys who don't know we did get the truck running so there's so much stuff that I need to get done with it. So you guys just stay tuned for that. Yeah. I know y'all. We all have dreams, you know what I'm saying? Sun. When I tell you the sun is hot. Uh-huh. I got a whole lot of bitches that I should've fucked with OG Jenny since the link I cut it But I've hit them all, so fuck them all. all And I got a whole lot of niggas that I should've fucked with Always fuck me up with some bullshit But I got my brain Before you guys actually see like if this works which it will make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you turn that post notification on to see more content I'm about to clean the whole entire trunk out and put my sound system back in and that's heavy enough to like let it sit a little bit lower and at the same time it still won't rub so I'm gonna finish adjusting the back and then hopefully I could get to the front today so off rip I could tell a major difference this side is lower than this side over here Look at this disgusting ass gap. That should look horrible. So, I'm gonna take the car around the block and see the struts will like wear in. And I'm gonna see if it rubs at all. So, I'm gonna take it around the block, see what's happening with it, and I'll let you guys know. A few moments later, the car doesn't rub anymore. The washers definitely did help. I really wasn't expecting this to work that good, but damn, look at this. I could definitely get used to this. The spring rate is so f***ing stiff now. It's not actually the spring rate, it's a shock absorber, but that's definitely a hack that <laughs> I think all of you guys should use. I'm definitely probably gonna go a tad bit lower just to close the gap, but for right now, I think it's good right there. Whenever the sun decides to cool down, I'll focus my attention on the front ones and I'll get them done. But that's pretty much it for this short little vlog, guys. It's basically just showing you guys like a quick little hack, different spring rates, and not to have your car rubbing all the time or bouncing around. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to drop a like on this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.